everyone, it's Elitaro here. Welcome back to the channel. We've got something really exciting today, so sit back and enjoy. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Let's get started. Have you ever wondered why Tae Hyung liked to post about the film Queer on Korea's Valentine's Day? Was it just a coincidence or was there something deeper behind it? This post by the iconic studio A24 introduces a film based on William S. Burroughs' bold novel. It's a story about self-discovery, breaking the boundaries of identity and feelings that defy the conventional. October 11th, Korea's Valentine's Day. And there it is, Tai Hyung's like on this post. Was it a gesture supporting all forms of love? A reminder that love has many faces? Or perhaps a subtle hint at his own views? It feels like this simple like isn't just a click. It's a symbol. A symbol of acceptance, of tolerance, and the courage to be yourself. Maybe, through this like, Tae Hyung wanted to tell his fans, love without fear of being yourself. Love doesn't always need words. It can be seen in the eyes, felt in body language, expressed in small gestures, and shown in the actions we take for the person we care about. The story of Tai Hyung and Jungkook is a story of true love, a love they reveal through actions, not words. Taekook doesn't need cameras to show their feelings. Their love is real. It comes from the heart, and that's what makes it so precious. They do everything for each other, putting one another first no matter what's happening around them. Many of these moments are private, known only to them, but we're fortunate to witness even a small part of their genuine Jungkook has repeatedly shown his love for Taekook through his actions. For example, he works for nine hours just to be by Taekook's side because Taekook says he missed it. Moments like this reveal the depth of their connection. For Jungkook, Taekook is the top priority, the one he's willing to do anything for. We see it when Jungkook encouraged Taekook to overcome his fear of heights during a skydive. He even held him close on stage, in front of thousands, putting Tai Hyung's comfort above his own. Jungkook is ready to protect Tai Hyung from the world and do whatever it takes to make him happy, louder than any words could. Jungkook's devotion shows just how deeply he values Tai Hyung and how far he's willing to go for him. This is true love, expressed not in words, but in actions. On October 11th, Korea's Pepero Day, Tai Hyung liked to post about the film Queer, a story of self-discovery, love, and the courage to be yourself. This film was directed by the same filmmaker as Call Me By Your Name, one of Tai Hyung's favorite films. Once again, he shows his support for the LGBTQ community and his authenticity, staying true to himself even under the public eye. Tai Hyung and Jungkook remind us that real love doesn't need words. It's in gestures, in the bravery of being there for each other and in the ability to make each other happy. Their story inspires us to appreciate love, to respect its many forms and to have the courage to be ourselves. Recently, fans noticed something interesting in Jungkook's travel show and it seems like it could hint at something much bigger. Could Jungkook have accidentally or intentionally hinted at Taehyung's possible involvement in an A24 project, especially considering the studio's reputation for films about love and self-discovery. In Jungkook's travel show, there are scenes that bear a surprising resemblance to moments from the upcoming movie Queer. For example, there's a shot where Jungkook photographs Taehyung's legs in bed, and in the trailer for the movie, there's a similar shot framed in exactly the same way. Then there are the swimming scenes, where they're shown floating together in the sea which parallels the movie scenes where characters share intimate moments together in the water. On top of that, if we look closer, Taehyung seems a bit distracted in the travel show. He's often on his phone, and then he steps away for things like golf. Could it be that he was involved in another project at the same time as the travel show? Interestingly, Jimin also joined the travel show later than the others, as if he had been busy with something else alongside Taehyung. Another thing to note is that Taehyung had already posted about being on a golf course in Jeju before the travel show even started, suggesting he might have had other commitments. When I'm with you, yeah, I never come down. Of course, these are just speculations. Similarities and little.
little hints make everything feel even more exciting. Only time will tell, but one thing is clear, their story is full of clues and mystery, leaving fans to wonder what might really be happening behind the scenes. And that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and drop a like. All new videos. And to any potential sponsors, if you're interested in collaborating, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,